What's going on, my beautiful Aquarius? Thank you guys for tuning in to Jaquela's Divine Tarot. If this is your first time to our channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as we walk into our divinity, Aquarius gang, gang. Y'all come on up in the building. Shout out and congratulations to the five lucky winners that won the free cash. I announced you guys last night. Everyone should have received their free cash, all right? So do not forget, once we hit 26K subscribers, I'm gonna be doing another lucky giveaway to six lucky winners. Every milestone we hit, I wanna celebrate you guys all right so you have to be subscribed to the channel go follow me on instagram educators divine tarot all right so if you want to book a reading check the description box down below no morning cancer money manifestation is happening tonight all right i still have a few slots available Let's see one two three i still have five slots available all right so if you want to get in on it 44 dollars 44 cents screenshot me your name and date of birth check the description box down below all right to get in on it all right so aquarius this is a general reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Take what resonates and leave the rest. First card out is Toxic Family. This keeps coming out, Aquarius. Some of you guys have a really, really toxic family. All right, so some of you guys have cut connections with these people, okay? Or this is your person. Somebody's family is so toxic here, okay? And it could be causing, okay, a lot of disruptions or distractions. High Priestess. So, Aquarius, some of you guys are like the High Priest and High Priestess in your family. All right, you're very intuitive. You could be a tarot reader. You could be a healer. You could be very spiritual. And maybe your toxic family, okay, or there's some family members that talk down about what you do for work, okay? But you're very intuitive. You know these people are toxic. Yeah, somebody here is unfaithful. All right, so yeah. So, Aquarius, some of you guys intuitively know that somebody here has been faithful. Somebody could have got a tarot reading. And they found out like somebody in their family has been unfaithful, okay? Or somebody that they have a family with is unfaithful here, Aquarius, okay? This is either you or your person, okay? I see an unfaithful tarot reader, okay? So there's definitely like a tarot reader here that's like a damn lie is the energy that I'm getting, okay? STD, okay? This tarot reader could be a whole, probably got something. And if they're in like a family situation, it's toxic as fuck. But maybe they put on for the screen, okay? That's for somebody, okay? Period. All right, racist popped out. All right, so toxic family. Okay, so somebody here has a toxic, um, has some type of family situation. And say if you're black and you're in a biracial relationship, somebody on the on your person's side of the family do not like you or something here. Okay, or this is your person. Like somebody's in some type of family situation and like their family don't like you or your person because like their nationality, their race or whatever. Okay. Somebody's definitely experiencing like some racism here. Yeah, stingy. There's a stingy ass tarot readers. Okay, I just said that on my last reading. Like, there's some dope ass tarot readers on here, high priests and high priestess, but they stingy as fuck. It's like you get on here and they they probably either give you like the bare minimum ass fucking readings. Okay, the readings only be probably fucking three, four fucking minutes, straight to the point, saying the same shit over and over and over. Okay, or they toxic as hell, want to criticize other readers, but they're not giving back. They don't do giveaways. They don't do free reading. They don't do shit. So some of y'all were seeing through the bullshit and realizing some of these tarot readers and shit they're stingy they just want to like feed off of your energy like subscribe but you're not giving shit back to the people so some of y'all are like gonna like cut these people off somebody's like greedy and selfish here yeah your spirit guides all right so your spirit guides are definitely leading you and guiding you like away from like a a, a person that's been unfaithful here yeah spirit is saying make a move all right so some of you guys yeah move on and make a move okay so two cards back to back that says something about move all right so some of you guys your spirit guides are telling you to move okay you're dealing with somebody that's unfaithful uh hell they could be telling these motherfucking tarot readers or spiritualists or whoever that's stingy and greedy as fuck and not really giving proper readings and healing and enlightening their people the hell they spirit guys are telling them to move the fuck on because they not even being faithful to their fucking craft okay or whatever the case may be but yeah overnight success all right so some of you guys have some type of overnight success that's coming in whether this is like a new opportunity in business a new job that you're going to be very very successful for all right so some of you guys uh somebody here could be experiencing some type of racism here so say for instance if you're black and like you just blow up overnight or like you really really take off with your business and say your next door neighbor or like uh, a business across the street maybe it's a white owned business they could be hating on you or something like that there's definitely something going on with, in regards to racism here all right but it has something to do with like maybe your success triggers this in somebody here yeah fame there's look with the fame the stingy and the high priestess some of y'all are intuitively know there's a lot of high priests on here. They're not in it on here to try to bring y'all spiritual awakening. They're not in here trying to give you messages to help you like, see, get closer to God and love yourself. And you know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself and heal and ground and show you how to manifest and cut cords, cut ties. There's only, there's a lot of tarot readers on here. They're very stingy. They're greedy and they're only in it for fame. They want to be famous. You know what I'm saying? So some of you guys like intuitively know this about somebody here. So maybe you're going to like, these people may actually end up falling off of YouTube. 
they may actually end up disappearing from YouTube, okay? Or like people may start falling off from this person because it's like their messages is not really helping the collective. These people are only doing it for money, okay? So there's definitely a tarot reader here. Maybe they're watching you. Maybe you're a reader too, but you really do it for the people, Aquarius, or whatever the case may be. All right, yeah. Especially if you're an aqua and you're a high priestess, you're very giving. Y'all know we love to give. Yeah, payout. Some of you guys are going to be receiving some type of payout here, a settlement. This could be like, uh, could with the unfaithful spirit guides and payout, okay? Your spirit guides could be telling you to go ahead and pay off something, okay? Go ahead and get it out of the way, the way to freeze up money for you, before you later. Or some of y'all are experiencing some type of payout. This could be like back pay of some sort. All right, something that you manifested, Aquarius. Some of you guys are very powerful manifestors, so you could have manifested some type of back pay or some type of overnight success. Somebody here feels like you have, like, say, for instance, if you have a business or you have a platform or whatever you do for work, you're really advancing, and somebody here may look at you like, oh, my God, he's the Aquarius has had overnight success not knowing you manifested this, you worked hard for this. So whatever this is, Aquarius, that's coming in, manifesting here for you, you deserve it. Yeah, it's because of your talent. You're very talented here. What, baby? Pig. Okay, sit down, Peppa Pig. Something about Peppa Pig. Okay, so I don't know. Some of y'all letting it pork alone. Okay, something about talent. Some of y'all really good at barbecuing and cooking. Okay, because he's talking about he want to watch Peppa Pig. All right, some of you guys, your talent, you have a secret talent of reading birth charts. Okay, so birth chart reading. Some of you guys are getting birth chart readings. Okay, and it's letting you know, like... I don't know, Aquarius. Some of you guys may get a birth chart reading on yourself and you may realize, okay, maybe you have a tendency to be unfaithful, okay, but you are connected to your spirit guides, okay, and you're going to get this money, all right, or you could be reading somebody's birth chart and it could tell you, okay, this person tends to be unfaithful, but at the, at the same time, maybe they're going to take really good care of you or they owe you some money. Somebody owes somebody some money here or somebody got a birth chart reading and they're seeing that you're either you're going to be very famous, Aquarius, um, or very rich or like, I don't know, you know how to get a lot of money or something here. All right, that's for somebody here. What else is here for my aquas? Yeah, party. All right, so some of you guys could be invited to a party. Some of you guys are going to cancel uh, going to a party, especially if it's toxic family members, okay, and you feel like they're racist and they discriminate against you in some type of way. Some of you guys are, like, going to cancel. But I do see some of you guys are going to a party or something, having a good time. All right, yeah, too much TV. So, Aquarius, some of you guys are watching too much tarot. Or maybe you're watching too much TV right now. So your spirit guys are saying, like, if you get invited out to a party or get together, you might want to go ahead and get out. Because maybe you just sit at home and watch too much TV. Okay, have a seat. Okay. All right. Yeah, writing a book. Okay, so Aquarius, some of you guys are watching too much TV. And your spirit guys are telling you it's time to write your book. All right, to publish your book, write your book, promote your book, something about writing a book. So either you're writing a book or you've gone through so much in regards to your spiritual journey, in regards to love and just different things in your life. You could damn near write a book, okay, or write several books and get like a huge payout. But I feel like you wouldn't even do it for payout. You would just do it as like self-help books, showing people how to heal or whatever the case may be. So some of you guys need to turn the TV off, turn the computer off, turn your phone off and get your book going. All right, yeah, trust your intuition right now. Don't second guess yourself, okay? Travel could be involved. Some of you guys are getting ready to take some type of trip. I'm hearing trust your intuition in regards to travel. So say if you have a trip or something planned and your intuition is telling you, you know what, I should just cancel. I should just stay home. Or say if you're just sitting around the house watching too much TV and your and your spirit guides or your intuition is telling you, you know what, let me just book a trip and get away. I think it'll be good for my sanity. Do it. Okay. But yeah, a businessman. All right, so some of you guys are manifesting or dealing with like a businessman or businesswoman. This person could travel for a living, okay? Or you could have a business trip coming up, okay? Be mindful only for sex. All right, so if you're dealing with a businessman or businesswoman, some of y'all finding out somebody travels and they have sex. They come off like a businessman or businesswoman or maybe they do work in a corporation or something, but like they be taking like international trips, traveling, secret trips and stuff. They be traveling to have sex. All right, so use your intuition in regards to this person. I feel like you know this, yeah, smudge. You need to protect your energy or protect yourself. If you're having sex and sleeping around, of course, okay? If you know you can't trust this person, you don't know them like that, at least be smart enough to protect yourself. That's what they're telling me. Yeah, you want to know why? Because somebody has a secret baby here, all right? So somebody travels and has sex and they could have like got somebody pregnant on the road, okay? Or maybe this is you, Aquarius, okay? Somebody definitely has a secret baby, all right, or you need to protect yourself because somebody here like could be secretly trying to get pregnant by you or put a, a baby off on your person or something, okay? Yeah, cooking it up. I told you some of y'all are chefs, very talented. Uh, you could be in the food industry, okay? I'm hearing top chefs, so I don't know if you're going to be going on like a TV show or like some type of contest. Like, 
and they're gonna judge or rate your food okay i really feel like you're gonna win or do really good yeah there's an older man here that's cooking something up some of you have an older man or older woman that's interested in you and this person is like i don't know i'm hearing a way to a man's heart is through his stomach all right so some of y'all grew up like by older people raised by your granny and them and they used to say that my granny and them used to say that like a way to a man's heart is through his stomach all right so some of y'all really really know how to cook male and female like you know like somebody's in love with your cooking or something here okay yeah snakes can't be trusted so be mindful aquarius okay some of y'all got some snakes around these people cannot be trusted at all august could be significant all right so somebody's birthday could be born in august this person could be a uh leo is what they're telling me yeah religion all right some of you guys are realizing there's a lot of snakes in religion, okay? So some of you guys may go to church, be spiritual leaders. Y'all finna start realizing a lot of these pe preachers, pastors, deacons, and all these people, okay? They are fucking snakes. You can't trust these people. They just do it for fame and money. Yeah, August here. Something significant could be happening in August. Okay, obsessed. There could be a little obsessed with you or you could be obsessed with this person. Okay, somebody who's definitely obsessed here with you, Aquarius, construction worker. Somebody works with their hands. It says building homes, landscaping, renovations. So some of you guys could be getting something done to your home. You could be a construction worker or you're dealing with a construction worker or somebody that works with their hands. Maybe they cook or they work with their hands or do landscaping or you do. Yeah, they turn their back on you. So somebody here is obsessed with you, Aquarius. This is someone that turned their back on you and maybe you cut them off and moved on. Now they're obsessing. Why did I turn on the Aquarius? I should have tried to make it work out or whatever. Yeah, but it was divine protection. So if somebody turned their back on you, Aquarius, this was protection from the divine. All right. It's almost like you dodged some type of bullet. Literally. Okay. Yeah. You got a new job coming. Congratulations, mom. All right. So some of you guys, your mom could be offering you a new job. Your mother could be getting a new job or a promotion. I don't really know. Something significant with a mom. Okay. Some of you guys are going to find out. Some of you guys are going to get a new job and you're going to find out you're a mom or that you're going to be a mom or a dad. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, that happened to me twice. When I got, like, the dream jobs or, like, these careers that I really, really wanted. It's like, right when I found out that I got the job, boom, I found out I was pregnant. That happened to me twice. So, some of y'all, that could be happening to y'all. But if not, something about a mother, yeah, nosy-ass neighbor. Some of y'all live by your parents, mom or father, okay, and they're nosy as fuck. Or some of y'all got some nosy-ass neighbors, of course. They just cannot stay out of your business, all right? They want to know what you do for a living. All right, you a motivational speaker, bitch, okay? I'm going to motivate you to go get some money and quit fucking watching me, okay? That's what y'all telling some of these people. Some of you guys are being called to be motivational speakers or maybe your mom or father is a motivational speaker. So maybe that's where you get your skills from. If you're good at uh, uh, speaking and things like that. Yeah, there's bums. So some of you guys are like trying to motivate bums. Okay, some of you guys are being called to like, okay, you either have a lot of bums around you. So these could be your family, people that you live around, maybe even friends. And you're trying to motivate them, like get tapped in, you know what I'm saying? Start a business, let's travel, let's do this. But it's like, these people don't want shit. Okay, so some of y'all just like, fuck that. I'm gonna motivate the people that really want it. All right, so yeah, broke as fuck. So somebody here is bums. So or some of y'all got some nosy ass neighbors. They don't work, they don't do shit, but sit around and watch you. Or some of y'all could have bum ass family members. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it real. And they don't do shit, but just sit around and watch you. And maybe you're the black sheep of the family or nobody does anything for this family maybe it's just you and your mom or you and your dad like or you and your brother or something like it's only like you and my maybe one or two other people in your family that's really got some shit popping i don't really know yeah somebody here that's like they can't keep a man or a woman so these could be these bums these karmics you know what i'm saying they look at you and it's like you motivate them you inspire them but yet they don't want to get off their ass and go do nothing yeah they can't keep a man or a woman somebody here yeah this person could be dark-skinned brown skin or maybe you like dark skin or brown skin people smudge again is here cleans your energy yeah you're very creative here at the time Aquarius okay so any creative ideas that come definitely uh definitely do it get creative Aquarius in regards to your gift your job your craft okay some of you guys are doing uh I'm hearing DIY some of you guys are really good at doing DIY projects, like do-it-yourself at home projects. Record yourself doing that. Put it on YouTube. Some of you guys are getting creative. You need to start your YouTube. Some of you guys are creative with cooking, creative with painting, creative with dressing, creative like with your hair, okay, with your fashion. Maybe you're creative with your kids or your kids are very creative. Something here, multi-millionaire, all right? So, yeah, there could be a multi-millionaire that wants to work with you, create something here with you, or some type of creative idea is going to like... Yeah, multi-millionaire. You're either dealing with a multi-millionaire, Aquarius, destined to be with one, or it's like you're being created. God is calling you to get creative, of course, okay? Because you're destined to be a multi-millionaire if you're not already. Yeah, secret family. Some of you guys will be dealing with a multi-millionaire. Somebody has a lot of money. They could already have a secret family. All right, so this is you, Aquarius. Some of you guys are going to be like very, very wealthy, like multi-millionaires, multi-billionaires, and maybe you're going to have to keep like 
you know what I'm saying? You know how like most people that like that are like celebrities or they're in the public eye, they're very, very wealthy and stuff. Like they have to keep their family a secret, like protect the kids' identity. Like some of you guys like move like that, or you're gonna have to like that's the type of lifestyle you're gonna be living. All right, so yes. What else is here? All right, the bottom of the deck. Look, I can't leave you alone. So somebody really just cannot get over you. But some of you guys will just focus on your business and your money. So some of y'all going to leave this person in the dust and their feelings. Or maybe they did this to you, Aquarius. Some of you guys really love somebody, but maybe they travel a lot or they focus a lot on their business. Or this is you. Some of y'all don't have time for love right now. You're trying to run this money up. Okay, you know, multi-millionaire status, period. I'm not going to get there being in my feelings. You know, so I don't know. But I love you, Aquarius. If you resonate with any part of this reading, thumbs up the video, like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next reading. Bye.